in this video we will discuss about coagulase negative staphylococcus it gives coagulase test negative result that's why it have that name coagulase negative staphylococcus all other stains gives coagulase positive this one is the normal flora it will transmitted through direct contact through direct contact only it will transmitted there are two species staphylococcus epidermatis and staphylococcus saprophyticus this staphylococcus epidermatis it gives novobiosin sensitive this saprophyticus is novobiosin resistant this epidermatis basically it is a non pathogenic one why this one is non pathogenic means colonization occur and addition also occur but not invade so that's why not produced any pathogenesis we already known this staphylococcus epidermatis is the normal flora coagulase negative staphylococcus Uh, will account almost 60 to 70 percentage staphylococcus epidermatis they produced polysaccharide glycocalyx which is nothing but slime layer they form biofilm uh, this slime layer form biofilm formation it is actually a foreign bodies hence can adhere to any implanted foreign bodies like valvular stent and prosthetic devices it will causes endocarditis ventricular stent infection also result stitches abscess so treatment for coagulase negative staphylococcus epidermatis methicillin sensitive strain nephicillin and methicillin resistant uh, strain treatment purpose we are using vancomycin next is saprophyticus staphylococcus saprophyticus this one responsible for urinary tract infection in young sexually active females so treatment purpose we are using ciprofloxacin so this is all about coagulase negative staphylococcus normal flora of the skin transmitted by they have two species staphylococcus epidermatis and saprophyticus epidermatis is non pathogenic one saprophyticus causing urinary tract infection so it involved in biofilm formation so it will causes different type of diseases Thanks for watching.